Every year, a cancer diagnosis changes the lives of 29,000 people in Colorado. And beyond health concerns, there are questions about finances, and especially during the last year, concerns about treatment and potential delays. Since the pandemic began, calls to the Cancer Support Community Helpline have doubled, and the use of their other resources, from patient blogs to online discussion forums, have also increased. Here's Denver 7's Katie LaSalle. Eukarya Borden, Senior Director of Health Equity and Clinical Services at the Cancer Support Community joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. So you're talking more today about services for those living with cancer and their loved ones. Eukarya, not only are patients going through really challenging treatments, but you add on the COVID-19 pandemic and what's it been like for many recently? Boy, I tell you, many patients are feeling alone, anxious, and really fearful of the future right now. Uh, let me just tell you about a patient named Maureen. She lives here in Colorado, and she was diagnosed with cancer in October. And she experienced a panic attack in the middle of the night. And she literally typed the words cancer support into a Google search and found us. And she described CSC as a community with knowledge, strength, determination and hope. And that's after she joined My Lifeline, which is our Denver-based digital platform specifically created for cancer patients and caregivers to virtually connect them to family and friends for social and emotional support. It's not always easy to reach out for help. So what are some of the concerns that people usually experience when they reach out to you? So people are calling us with experiences of emotions related to that feeling lonely and isolated and just really wanting to feel heard. And we hear all kinds of concerns, but the top ones are financial concerns, housing and transportation, and coping with the emotions that come along with having a cancer diagnosis. And you mentioned it briefly, but there's a helpline plus a lot of other resources available for patients and caregivers. Can you tell us more about them? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to. Our helpline is a free service, 100% free service, where patients and caregivers can connect with a fantastic group of licensed and experienced healthcare professionals, as well as community navigators who specialize in subjects like financial navigation, treatment decision making, genomic testing, and more. And if someone calls in, what can they expect? The first thing our team does is assess the needs of our callers and the level of their, their distress in order to create a personalized plan with resources while still offering them emotional support. So a caller might contact us for emotional support, but because of the assessment, we're also able to determine other needs and we look to connect them with those resources, whatever they may be. And finally, what do you think is the most important thing that you want people out there to know who are living with cancer? Patients, survivors, and caregivers need to know that without a doubt, these are really tough times. And the cancer support community has free services available to help anyone impacted by cancer with the challenges that come from a diagnosis and the additional difficulties caused by the pandemic. We strongly believe that no one needs to face cancer alone. Carrie Borden with the Cancer Support Community, thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for having me. We want to give you that helpline number again, 888-793-9355. Again, that's for anyone who needs help navigating a cancer diagnosis, whether a patient or a caregiver. You will also find resources at cancersupportcommunity.org.